Welcome back everyone to Heart Renderings. Today's prompt is, we took it to go. Lunch, we took it to go. We were in such a rush that we grabbed our lunch in the classic brown paper bag off the counter at the deli and took it to go. The question was now, where? Where are we going? We were so hell-bent on not eating inside, life in the time of COVID, that we never thought about where we'd eat. So living in this city offered us many park opportunities. We headed out towards a patch of large trees, hoping there would be some tables or benches there. Lo and behold, sure enough, there was a table under this huge maple tree. And since it was springtime, the tree was bursting with verdant growth and little flowers were all over the ground. It was lovely. Interestingly, there was someone at the table already who looked like they had seen better days. An older woman in tattered clothing and a beautiful smile. We asked if we could sit with her and thankfully, we bought lots of sandwiches and chips and offered her some. She was thrilled. I asked her her name. She said, Celine, which made me jump a bit as it's an unusual name and one that belonged to an estranged aunt of mine. No one had seen her for many years. Story goes, she was gorgeous an actress really, and moved around a lot with the theater group. And she fell desperately in love with this man who broke her heart, and she vanished. We all thought she died of a broken heart. I timidly asked her about her life. Yes, she knew and was part of my family. And yes, she was the same Celine. I couldn't believe my eyes or ears. This was my aunt. I wanted to hug her, but she looked so ethereal I thought she'd break under pressure. She went on to tell us her sad and interesting story. I was wrapped in attention. She'd lived all kinds of lives in those passing years. She isn't homeless. Not really, she said. She's been hoping to meet up with someone from the family to tell her story. There was quite a scandal, you see, as she was so overwrought by the breakup. She hunted that man down and killed him in her fury. And since she couldn't go on without him, she killed herself. And upon making that statement, she vanished. Truth can be brutal. The end. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe.